I want to say it was around 2004 when I got the idea to start painting on clothes. I mean, like, it's a real thing to do. A lot of times before that, I did jackets and, you know, pants, various custom orders that people came to me for. But then in 04, after, like, looking at Mesquine and being inspired by them, I wanted to just paint a whole bunch of shirts and, and sell them. So in 04, I started painting shirts. And between like 04 and 05, I was just able to come up with the name Yizzo to put on the shirts. That was going to be my name. So, you know, I'm forwarding through the story a little bit, but it was a dude in the area where I was staying down at the bottom of Ogant's who had a stand out there selling clothes, T-shirts, you know, pants, little bootleg stuff. So one day I brought out a few shirts and asked if I could put them on the stand and he can sell them and we could split the money. And that's what happened. So the shirts was gone, like they flew off the stand. And he had more shirts, like he was selling plain white T-shirts. So he just started to give me shirts and pants and little jackets and just stuff to paint on. And then we would sell it on the stand. So that was the beginning of our relationship as far as, you know, selling the clothes. So, um, you know, it was operating on the stand. And then I got an idea. Well, really, I was pushed into a program through the family court system where I was able to come up with a business license. It was this organization called PCDC. And I remember Curtis Jones was the president. This was his last year of being the president of it before he would slide off to do things with the city council or whatever. But when I got my business license, I wanted to name my company Yizzo because that was the name I was putting on the shirts and just come back hard. While I was doing the uh, business license thing, my man who had to stand, he started painting. He was already a talented dude, but he started painting and using the name Yizzo on stuff he was painting. Now, I didn't really think that was cool. I didn't know he was doing it. But in his eyes, he was keeping the name out there, keeping the name alive until I popped back up with more material. But my idea was this. Like, since I got my business license now, I'm going to open my own stand and do my own thing. Because he already had a stand, business license, doing his shit. So <laughs> my next plan came, and this was like around 05. I'm just painting shirts after shirts after shirts after shirts, building up my inventory because I'm going to have a grand opening one day. And that day came, like when I f start first selling the shirts. And I waited until my inventory was up a few, like a hundred and something shirts all folded up individual originals and I got a whole lot of love and support from my neighborhood my block my friends people that fuck with me they was coming and buying the shirts so while I'm doing that these dudes is around the corner and they um looking at properties for storefronts and they wind up getting one in the plaza on Ogans Avenue it was an available spot and they got it so you know we still kind of cool and they talking to me about working with them, but I'm not a partner. I'm not a partner on paperwork. You know what I'm saying? They got paperwork partners all around the area, and I'm not one of them. But they coming to me for all the inventory and ideas and, you know. So anyway, they wound up putting Yizzo Fashions on top of the store. And I was copywriting Yizzo Originals as my name for my business. It's on my business license and everything. People knew me as Yizzo. Even with the logo, with the Y, with the two lines coming out of both sides. So it just started really going downhill from the opening of the store, which is 